In this video, we are going to learn about angles both on and inside a circle. First, let's talk about an angle that's on a circle. So what we're going to do is draw a tangent line, so a line that intersects the circle just once. And from that point of tangency, we're going to draw a chord. And in this situation, we have sort of two things. We have an angle right here and an arc that is intersected by the chord and the tangent line. And the relationship between the angle and the arc is that the measure of the angle equals half the measure of the arc. So for example, if the arc was 100 degrees, then that angle would have to be 50 degrees. It's sort of like an inscribed angle, if you want to think about it like that. Now the other angle we're going to talk about is one that's created inside a circle by two chords. And if we have two chords that intersect in the circle, we'll notice that an angle is created where they intersect. Actually, two angles are created, and they're vertical angles, so they have to be congruent. But the question is, how do those angles relate to the arcs that are intersected by the two chords? And the answer is, the angle is always the average, the measure of the arc. So angle, or angle measure, equals average measure of arcs. So what do I mean by that? Let's say our two arcs are 100 degrees over here and 20 degrees over here. How we could figure out these angles would be take our two arcs and average those measures. So 100 plus 20 divided by 2. That's how you find an average of two numbers, add them up, and divide by 2. So that would give us 120 divided by 2, which is 60 degrees. So each of these angles would be 60 degrees. And remember, they both would be the same because they're vertical angles. Now keep in mind for both of these situations, you could go backwards from how we talked about it. So for example, on the first one, if you knew the angle, you could figure out the measure of the arc by just multiplying by 2. And in the other one, if you knew, for example, one of the arcs and the angle in the that is formed by the chords, you could figure out the other arc by just working backwards with the average to figure out what it would have to be.